If you are bored of wearing your basic t-shirts over and over again, but at the same time you don't want to spend too much on new clothes, then watch this video because I'm showing you how to turn your shirt into a dress, top or a skirt with only using scissors. So literally anyone can do it, it's super easy and looks so cute. So here are 7 scissor only shirt up cycles. A baby doll top. So I wanted to make a top inspired by these baby doll shirts I found on Pinterest. So starting off with this shirt, I created a bigger neckline like this. And then I trimmed the shirt to the length I want. Next cut off half of the sleeve on each side. Now make two cuts right in the middle and make sure to leave this gap in between them. I wanted to make it look like one of these tie tops, so I removed some more fabric in the middle. And after that I made small cuts right where the gap is and continue to do them in a straight line all around the top. Then also make cuts right where the top slit is. I made like 4 on each side. Now take some ribbon and put it through the holes again all around the shirt. And when you're here, lace both sides together and tie it. This is how the finished baby doll shirt looks like and I think it turned out so adorable. Just a few cuts and some ribbon upgraded the shirt so much, so definitely try it out. A custom print shirt. If you love those shirts that have a cool image on them but you don't want to spend like $30 on it, I can show you how to make it yourself with stuff you have already at home. First I cut off the neckline to give it an off shoulder look. Now print out a picture of the image you want on your shirt and I recommend looking on Pinterest if you want some inspo. Then cut it out and wrap it in some foil. Make sure that the front and the back is covered so there's no paper sticking out anywhere. Now place the picture on your shirt and put a baking sheet on it. Then grab your iron and make sure that the steam option is turned off. Now all you have to do is going over your image till the plastic foil is completely melted. Then remove the baking sheet and you're done. This is how my shirt turned out and I love this DIY so much because you can literally put anything you want on your shirt. The options are endless and you can save so much money. A bow top. Next we're leveling up this boring shirt by turning it into one of these pretty tops I found on Pinterest. So get your scissors and turn this round neckline into a square one. Then cut off the arms on both sides like this. Crop it to your desired length and now to make it fit you perfectly, turn the shirt around and cut a straight line in the back. Try it on and mark the middle of where your shirt is overlapping. So now you're going to cut this much off on both sides. And because it fit me more tightly at the top, I'm cutting it in this triangle shape. Now to reconnect both sides, cut some tiny holes on the edge and I cut them in a distance of 1cm. Then take the leftover fabric from the bottom of the shirt and cut out two thin straps. I tied them together on one end and put some safety pins on the other. So now it's time to put the straps through the holes in a way you would lace a shoe. Do this all the way till you're at the bottom and finish off by tying a bow. So now cut two more strips and tie them around both sleeves. Then use a safety pin to gather the fabric in the middle. And with that the top is done and I think it turned out so adorable. And you can even wear this top in different ways like turn it into an off shoulder top or a tank top. And by the way, if you want to see a video where I level up boring clothes with my sewing machine, let me know. Now, I'm still a beginner when it comes to sewing, but I've been taking a sewing class which helped me so much with learning the sewing basics and leveling up my sewing skills. And I found this class on Skillshare, which is the largest learning platform for creatives. So if you, for example, want to get into painting, self-development, design, film, and more, Skillshare is the right place for you. And if you are not sure where to start, Skillshare designed learning paths, which are handpicked classes to help you get from beginner to pro in no time. In a learning path I highly recommend is the master your productivity path because sometimes I get stressed and overwhelmed by my everyday tasks. So this path helped me to rebuild my mindset and overcome distractions. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Address. 
you can also transform your shirt into a dress. Just take a top that fits you pretty tightly and lay it on the top half of your shirt. Now cut from one corner and along the top. Repeat it on the other side. Then make a small cut on both sides and cut around the neckline. I removed a bit more fabric on each side and after that I made the straps like this. And to tie it around my neck, these cuts on the back. Lastly, I cut out a thin piece by cutting right along the dress. So now the base of the dress is done. Now because the front and the back pieces are not connected, I made some holes along the edge and then I took the thin pieces I cut out earlier and tied them together with my shoelace technique. This is how the dress looks like, pretty cute but we can make it look even cuter. So I found this dress on Pinterest and fell in love with the bottom part of it. So I tried to recreate it by putting these bows on some safety pins and gathering the fabric on both sides. And it's done! This dress turned out so cute, I'm so in love with how the tight sides look like and if you want to you can also remove the pins and have a whole new dress. A tank top. Next I'm showing you how to make a tank top and this one is super easy. Just cut off the shoulder on one side, then fold the shirt to get an even cut on the other side. Then crop it to your desired length and turn it around. Cut the shirt like this, then fold it open. Now we're making the straps, so just cut the fabric towards the neckline like so. After that, cut this half circle and a straight line in the middle. So now you can just tie the straps together and the tag top is done. However, mine looks pretty plain, so a way you can spice up any shirt is by drawing a cool design on them. Just look up some ideas on Pinterest. Here are some aesthetic ones I found. And when you have an image you really like, trace it from your iPad or your phone onto the shirt. Now it's really important to use a fabric marker for this, so your design won't wash away if you put it in the washing machine. And this is how my finished tank top looks like. A backless tee. I'm sure we have all seen these backless tops and I think they're so pretty, so I'm going to show you how to DIY them. First, trim the shirt to the length you want, then turn it on the back side and cut this U-shape out. Now to make it fit around your waist, cut it right in the middle and then remove some fabric on each side. Now I'm grabbing my tiny scissors to make some holes along the edge on both sides then take the leftover fabric from the bottom of the shirt and cut out two long strips. I put a safety pin on them and now it's time to connect both sides. You could leave it here, but I can show you how to make it look even cuter. I cut out a star template out of paper, then put it on an old shirt and draw your shape on it. Cut it out, then place it on your shirt and sew it on there. And this is how it turned out. A two-piece set. So I found the set and I fell in love with it, so we are going to recreate it. First make these three big cuts and cut out this square. This one is for the top and these are for the skirt. So let's start with the tube top. Just make two cuts right there so now you have this long piece and I remove a little bit more fabric to make it fit me tighter. Now make cuts along the edge on both sides and connect them with ribbon or a long piece of fabric if you want to. So now you have this corset top and I also added a safety pin on the front and tied a bow on it. Next we're doing the skirt, so take the two squares and make some small cuts on one side each. Then connect them with straps from the leftover fabric. Now that you have this long piece of fabric, put it around your waist and mark it so you know the width of your skirt. Make some holes again and connect the pieces with the straps. Now I cut holes with a distance of 1cm all around the fabric. And then I took this other piece and cut holes in it with a distance of 2cm. So now when you attach the two pieces together by weaving the band through them, you create a ruffled effect. 
If you want to, you can also attach some ribbon by making a few cuts like me here and now it's done. I think this set turned out so cute and if you want, you can also wear the top or the skirt separate to have a whole new look. So that's the end of the video. I hope I could inspire you in case you are bored of your shirts because there are so many easy ways to upcycle them. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.